For all seven of you who have been wondering what's going on with this car, here's an update May 24th, 2022. I have an alignment appointment this morning, so I don't know, it's like 6.30 in the morning. Got to drop off around 8. So this front valance down here, my brother was here last week and he fixed it all up. Got all the dents out, painted it, looks real nice. Welded it, it was actually cracked over there. But he made it look real good. He doesn't like it, but I think it looks great. And he said he'll redo it some of the time. Because he might end up painting this car. The bumper is new. I put that on a couple weeks ago. And behind all of this, the bumper brackets, the radiator support, you can't see it, but it's all cleaned up. If you look here, I've done my best to redo this grill. I polished the aluminum. I sprayed new Ford Argent Gray in the inserts on not only these trim pieces, but the pony here. And I also painted the grill, the original, I don't know, blue. It's like a gunmetal blue. You can get it from specialty shops. I bought a can of it and did it. Straightened up the grill. The bars are new. They were very pitted. So I went ahead and got new ones. But everything else is original. It's cleaned up here. If you look under the car, Andy was here, and he did a disc brake system on this car. It's a really cool system because it's not like, I don't know, like a Willwood or a Bear. It's actually parts store stuff. So I think the calipers are from like a 91 Bonneville. The rotors are from a 90 Toyota Privia. And the hoses are from like a 76 through 81 Cadillac Eldorado. So it's part store parts. And this is the big cool part for me. You can still run the original 14 inch Ford wheels with the cool hubcaps. And my wheels are dirty. The car is dirty. Haven't cleaned it yet. Now if I come in here, you can see that there's a new horn button. That's nice and shiny. Steering wheel is still the same. I haven't swapped that out yet. I have a new one. And uh, if I get in here, this column has been rebuilt. I rebuilt the column. My son-in-law did a powder coat job on it and sandblast. Put a new harness in there, new turn signal switch, new turn signal lever. So that's all new. You can see the top of the grill here. I've cleaned it up. I got it as straight as I could. It was pretty bent up, and that's pretty good. It looks all right from out here. Also painted some of these brackets, put some new stainless screws here and there. The latch, the horns are dusty, but <laughs> this bracket here actually had white overspray on it. Not anymore. It's been stripped and painted. There is the new power steering pump. Actually, it's not new. It came with the engine. It's from a 69 Mustang, but fits fine. If you look down there, you might be able to see that Borgeson steering box. I don't know if you can see it or not. No, probably not. It's way down here. You can see the hose is going into it. And this thing steers like a dream. It goes in for an alignment. I don't know, about an hour and a half. We've got a brand new prop valve under there, too. For the front disc rear drum. 70-30 split. Some people do adjustables, but I don't understand why you'd want to do that. It's 70-30. Why adjust it? Some people like to. I didn't figure we cared to, so I just did a 70-30. These hoses, whew, I'm out of breath. These hoses are proprietary to Borgeson. We got an incorrect hose. Had to order one overnight. That was a pain in the butt. Overnight these days is two days. Because COVID and, I don't know, they're not obligated to bring it the next day anymore. So we had to wait two days for it. It actually came with some bad threads on it, but my brother was able to clean them up with a file. And we got it all together. But anyway, that's what's going on with this car. That's the update. This is the first YouTube video you're going to see uh, this week. I'll get some more up, though. I got some catching up to do. I've been busy on the car, though. But now I can relax and get back to work. So that's it. Thanks for watching.